In honor of your will, Lieutenant Euphrater, that you kept from falling apart in the face of sheer terror, day after day, second by second. Oh, thank God Volition chimed in. Still there. Inland Empire is huge. It is a large, massive, deep chasm to fall down, and you never know when you've seen the bottom yeah. of it. You can lose yourself. But no matter where you are, Volition is with you, and he's going to set you straight. So we're still going okay. <laughs> we're actually talking to this thing. Detective. Yes? Arriving. On the scene. Hmm. I'm a detective. So am I. I was born to detect sucrose rewards and semiochemicals. What were you born to detect? <laughs> also that. The killer. I was born to detect you. Damn. Now that's a fucking pickup line if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Get in my master ball. No wonder Dora's gone. <laughs> that was probably the line that did, did you in. <laughs> for better and for worse, my record says that I was born to detect the killer. He's in a bad state. Deteriorating fast now. He thinks I am beneficial to him, but I am not. Quicken his deterioration. You're destroying him. Very slowly. And only because he won't go away. It is meant to keep them from noticing me, to interfere with the picture in your head. But he has looked at me for too long, and I am destroying him. This is uh, a dream. What's happening? is forming me. This is real. Where did this come from? All this around us, the world. Not even the birds know that. Not even the water lily. We need to know. Perhaps it's sent to us by a god. Then we... Then all we can do is beat our fists against it. Day after day, with no answer. You can also eat it. If it's a leaf, you can put it in your mouth. Yum yum. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so... So you look like a reed, and you eat reeds. Yes, they don't mind. Have you accidentally eaten another reed, Phasmin? Yes. I once cloned myself and ate the little ones. It was winter, and I woke up at the wrong time. It was an accident. Oh no. Tragic. Well, at least it was an accident. Sometimes Discovery Channel shows you that it's intentional. And that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Oh, what? Offspring? You can't walk? Guess I'm leaving you there. I'm eating you later. Mm -mm. Who's that new Miss Fat Booty in town? What's up? <laughs> Babies! Oh. <laughs> 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 Yeet! No rules in the animal kingdom. What exactly are you? I am an all-known species of the order Phantasmodia, endemic to the Insulindia Insula. For the last 350 years, I have hidden in plain sight, masquerading as the reeds, molting, cooling myself, unfolding at night to play with trash bins and boys. I wonder... In 50 years, she's seen most of the history going down. Yeah, did you actually say the words Insulindian Isola? Or are you just using <laughs> a relative term in my brain to say a thing that I would understand? Excellent question. That's a very important question to me. No, no, I have a degree, actually. <laughs> like... No, no one believed I exist. Almost no one. 
Until you came, detective. Dripping of blood that smells like strawberries. Across the calm sea. The first in a thousand years. This is a really un un um, unfortunate time for the lines to fuck up. Yeah. I, went I went unnoticed by the first settlers, and the land surveyors, and the suzerain. Also by the soldiers of the revolution and the officials of the, of the occupation. Even the Seminese Islanders who came here first, but they did not say. They did not stay, have not seen me. I hid from the Kips! Oh, oh no. my god, oh, what? no! No! Fasmid! No! Fasmid! No. Oh! No, her nationalist boys are through the room! 350 years of collecting XP, Wooly! 350 years! Shit! Somewhere, uh, somewhere across the coast, in a building not so far away, a crypto fascist laughs as he sips his tea from one of his mugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I have stayed hidden through four forms of government and two scientific revolutions. What? Until I was accidentally discovered by a detective of the cities of Malaysia in Rebozhov, district of Martinez, March 51. That's... that's me. Very precise. Are you the miracle? No. You are the miracle. Body. Oh! <laughs> oh, fast bit. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Phasmid. Why you gotta do me like that? Yeah. Oh. Why couldn't Professor Oak give you to me at the start of the adventure? Why do we have to wait so long? Why do we have to wait this time? Immediate life form. While you are extreme, all engulfing madness, a volatile semen nervous system, ominously new to the planet. Wow. The pale too came with you. No one remembers it before you. The Nidarians do not. The radially symmetrics do not. There is an almost unanimous agreement between the birds and the plants that you are going to destroy us all. Wait. The pale is human made? It is a nervous shadow cast into the world by you, eating away at reality. A great, unnatural territory. Its advent coincides with the arrival of the human mind. I don't have that kind of power. You're a violent and irrepressible miracle. The vacuum of cosmos and the stars burning in it are afraid of you. Give me enough time, you will wipe us all out and replace us with nothing. Just by accident. How? Okay, so earlier I made a joke about walking into the Yellow King's cave and seeing the stars. Because that's what happens in True Detective. And now it's basically happening. I guess that was a point well spent. We suspect it will be something like the oxygen holocaust that wiped out anaerobic life 2.6 billion years ago when organisms first started breathing. Only much worse. Instead of air, you exhale thoughts. There are no trees that eat thoughts. Worse, how? Everything your eyes touch goes back there, behind the nerve mirror. What if you blink? Are we still here? Please don't blink. What if he misplays us all one day? We'll just forget. Blink. Have I always thought this way? But I want to blink and undo 12 billion years of matter expansion. This is the gloaming I've been waiting for ever since I woke up in the hotel room. 
I've already forgotten the whole world once, when I drank too much. I will be extra careful not to blink, stick insect. Don't worry. So, it is already happening. One day, one of you will close your eyes and sign, and open them to see that none of this ever existed. No, the moral of our encounter pale too came with you. It is a nervous girl, a violent, and ir we suspect it will Instead of air, the ex- Everything your eyes touch goes back there, right behind the nerve mirror. I'll be extra careful not will to blink. Are we still here? Please be. Or oh, one day, one of you will close your eyes and sign, and open them to see that none of this ever existed. Kim? Am I having a violent epileptic seizure? It doesn't look like that, no. What does it look like? You're just staring at it. Then I think I'm having a vision about the final fate of mankind. Okay. Is it somehow related to the case? <laughs> uh, sort of. No. I told you what it's about. <laughs> Our fate. The case? The case is meaningless compared to this. <laughs> I've totally transcended the case. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just takes his notebook out. <laughs> I think we should take the picture, and then you should back away from the unstudied species. I have to say goodbye now. I have no more thoughts, that was all. There is one more. No, there are no more thoughts. Of all the creatures I've met, you're the kindest. Of all the creatures I've met, you are the scariest. Of all the creatures I've met, you're the most beautiful. Thank you. I also have one more thing to say to you before you go. That woman, turn from the ruin. Turn and go forward. For freedom. I can't. I'll try. I will. What woman? Five. What woman knowingly? <laughs> you know. She was hell on earth. It doesn't take a three meter stick insect to tell you that. Which one? The one in my head? Or the real thing? Yeah. Okay, Kim. Take the picture. Your ex was trash, trash. <laughs> <laughs> she was ratchet anyway. You should have walked away a long time ago, time ago. <laughs> We've been trying to tell you. The new guy ain't the father. <laughs> I saw him on Mori already. <laughs> on Channel 8. Okay, Kim. Take the shot. Okay. With a slow ring of metal, the lieutenant slides the lens open and raises it to eye level. There is no change in the insect's motion while it's being aimed by the camera. It remains fixated on you. I want to ask if it was around, or rather, if it knew Dolores Day. Yeah. In three. If it moves, you jump back. I'll shoot. Here we go. Three, two, one. The shrill flash of the camera cuts the air like the blade of a sword. The phasmid freezes in its bright light. Head turned toward the lieutenant, hypnotized by the flash. It stands frozen before you. Good shot, Kim. Undeniably. That's a fucking Pulitzer right there. The sweat on your arms feels cold as ice, as if you're frozen as well, in the shadow of this great statue of chitinous marble. I got it. You hear the lieutenant whisper as the creature's shape develops on the photo paper in his hand, a polychrome ghost of white streaks against the reeds and the sky, and you as a shadow before it. For all time. 
slowly reach out and touch the creature's whisker. Carefully pet its scythe-like forearm. The antennae hang from a great height. With your hand shaking, you barely touch the tip of the left whisker. On contact, the kiting curls into a spiral, like the tip of a poison ivy. Its touch on your fingertip feels cold, ticklish. It is surprisingly delicate, the curly end of the whisker, like a young vine. It's even a bit wet. Be careful, detective. It's moving. Look at your finger. You were right. It glistens with some kind of moisture. The creature in front of you stays frozen. Now, why would I lick my finger? <laughs> <laughs> we have been straight edge <laughs> for the entire fucking game. <laughs> this now? I think we've earned a lick. It tastes like sugar. Very faint. The anthropod towers above you. Tufts of reeds pointed from limb and head alike. Odorless. Mostly comprised of water. Insect food. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. We've earned whatever comes. We've earned it. It's vegan. Uh... No freaking gluten. Electrochemistry. Lick your finger again. <laughs> Carefully pet its scythe like forearm. The limb before you is incredibly light. Like eggshell. It's much lighter than a reed. You feel a soft push could tip the creature over. It's hollow exoskeleton collapsing. Warning. Run your hand up the slender limb higher. A small shudder passes the creature's arm. High above you, its black pearl eyes still glisten, mesmerized by the light passing its nervous system. There is some kind of countdown happening as it slowly processes the overwhelming brightness of the signal. The invertebrate is regaining control. We got it. Back up. Another shudder pulses through the creature's limbs. It jolts back to life, like a record continuing where it left off, in a swaying, praying motion. Even the small black pearls of its eyes do not stray from you. Disengage slowly. As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your movements, stepping on the water, the long limbs carrying its feather weight without breaking its surface. And just like that, it's gone, skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the water and something under it. In the place it stood, bobbing there, among the reeds, a collection of items. It left some loot? Damn. Look at all that speed. Boss defeated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kim, how many DKP you got? Who's gonna get what? How do we split this up? It's gone. The lieutenant looks north with his hand raised to his brow. It can walk on water? What's that in the reeds? What now? Apparently, yes. Like a water strider. Only... I've never seen anything like that in my life. Same. Was that in the reeds? Looks like a nest of some sort. We should have a look. What, what now? now? What now? Alright, still there. The old man behind you repeats suddenly. He's put his hand into the ash. It's dirty and black. Yeah, yeah, something, something, communism. Workers unite, blah, blah. <laughs> what the fuck ever? <laughs> Who cares? Some kind of strange, <laughs> semi-catatonic state. <sighs> Our suspect is not looking so good. We need to check on him. It was affecting him. Damn, you left us some good shit. What's in there? 
Oh my god. The helmet. <laughs> oh wow. And the team the rifle, rifle scope. Rifle scope. Brother, you've managed to collect all the armor pieces. Too bad it's too late for the big showdown. I don't think this helmet would have helped me anyway. Look down at your wound. At least my collector's impulse has been satisfied. I'm sure I'll have a use for this armor in the future. Indeed, you found it all. Now your mortal coil is completely protected. Few cops are this futuristic. And at least now I'm truly invincible. Let's go! Trip and fall and break your tooth right now. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Get infected. Evidence. Classius passport. Oh my god. It was you. It was you all along. <sighs> yeah. Wow. That's a fucking... That's an encounter. That's a swerve. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Well, I didn't see it coming. Uh, I, I mean, look. <laughs> At the end of the day, real talk, I know what the casualties of this game are. It's, uh, the game is in this internet thing that you yeah. do. I'm aware. I know that in talking to a whole lot of people every day, some of them are just going to be not great. Yeah. And there's nothing else we can do about it. It is what it is. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you try to just... Let it go in one ear and out the other. Almost like on a podcast, if you didn't want to have to think too hard about something mm -hmm. that you might encounter in the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a lot of levels. Seven. Damn. No, wait, save it. Don't spend it. <laughs> what you gonna do? Everything. Ev everything. Everything to even? Authority. Bare minimum. Authority is at seven. Um... And then everything else is even or cannot be leveled up. I think we've seen what Electrochem has to offer. <laughs> uh, and then we have one in the bank. Always useful. So many things. The helmet, finally. Head as a battering ram, a fighter, not a lover. This monstrous-looking, bug-eyed ceramic helmet was the fa was in the phasmid, in the phasmid's nest. It still has some reeds sticking out of it, and it smells of seawater. It's otherwise wearable, if not exactly comfortable. Putting it on feels scary somehow. Kim made that shot. Yep. Through the slit. Half light up. Suggestion down. Well, your half light would need it. Oh, it's weird with the coat, eh? Very. That's, wait, that's the hat? That's the, that's the it's helmet. A, it's a hat. That's, that's it is. It's a hat. Weird looking. You know, you just gotta dress it up a little bit. No, not in front of him. <laughs> Bring the, the not in front of this guy. Okay, it's not the nationalist jacket, at least the Sakuroya jacket. Oh, it's not. I thought it was. <laughs> it's this one. No, that's not it either. All right, whatever. The blue jackets. You know the deal. Fuck the world. <laughs> she did like the leather jacket.
Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's been gone. Check up on the deserter now. What is it? What do you want from me? I can't go. Though the old man looks around confused. Something is very wrong with him now. Sir, how could you not see the phasmid? See? He stares at the reeds and falls silent. Mr. Dallas? The man does not respond. He keeps staring. Black eyes glazed over and bulging from their sockets. His gap-toothed mouth shaking. With fear and longing. Snap your fingers under his nose. Wave your hand in front of his eyes. Touch his shoulder gently. The plastic cape feels coarse. A light shiver passes the man. Other than that, no reaction. He feels small and frail. He's going into some kind of psychomotor immobility. The good news is, this solves our transportation problem. Doesn't it, Mr. Dross? Hmm. The trembling mouth appears to sigh. Between this and the broken tire he's used for a boat, I think it's safe to leave him here while we go and get help. It will need to be medical first, I'm afraid. What has happened to this man? We found some, some things in the Phasmid's nest, Mr. Dross. Old age and shock. He looks at him, then you. I think it's the Phasmid. Old age and shock, yes. Yes, the arrest and the appearance of the phasmid, the combined stress. But you think it's something more than that, don't you? There's much more. Remember what it said when it spoke. But yeah, it was consuming him or something. But he, but you couldn't hear it, Kev. Quite a few things about that health check you did on him make sense now. He couldn't see it, Kim. It's just the reads for him. Before, when I evaluated his state, he seemed strangely animated. Could it be there's something hormonal in his relationship to the Phasmid? I talked to the Phasmid. It said it's destroying him. Mm. He's been here for a long time. Who knows how much of it is in his company? That could be part of the shock. But you're right, something is off here. Mr. Dras. He touches the man's shoulder. No response. Maybe this is how the Phasmid has stayed hidden all these years. No, it's not that. The, the, <sighs> the old man stutters, then another sigh. He was strangely animated. He was energetic and articulate. After all these years alone, with little hygiene or medication, I would expect worse. Perhaps this animation is induced by something in the Phasmid. It does not seem to be animated now it's left. Honestly, I'm ready to believe anything at this point. Maybe it is psychoactive. Hmm. I mean, why not? It's three meters tall. He takes off his glasses and cleans them. When he puts them back, he's still staring at the sea. Could be something hormonal in his relationship? You mean pheromonal? He seemed a little off for a man his age. Randy. The scope? Knowing of her bruises? His disposition toward Miss Orania? I see what you mean. I talked to the fast bit. It said it's destroying him. You should be more careful, detective. Are you sure it wasn't having an effect on you? Maybe. Anyway, it's only trying to remain unseen. The de degradation is a side effect. A valid hunch. Long-term exposure to something like that could be neurodegenerative. Also, Please be careful when approaching a known species in the future, detective. But I was cool though, right? Yeah, you know, it only told me that I'm the fucking force behind the pale in the eradication of humankind, but, you know. You're the miracle. <laughs> On with the case. It's been here for a long time. Who knows how much of it is 
in its company. He did seem distressed when it finally came to arresting him. Like he didn't want to leave this place and the insect maybe. He looks at his notebook. Mm. He was drawn. I have absolutely forgotten to take notes. I hope I remember all of this. This will be one hand of a report. Thank God we have the photo. He shakes his head in disbelief. No one would believe you without it. That's true. We found some things in the Phasmid's nest, Mr. Drouse. He stares into the reeds. Your words don't stir anything in him. Perhaps you should. Tap on the helmet on your head. <laughs> you know that I'm wearing it? <laughs> the game is like, yep, of course you're going to put it on, you silly, silly. Who wouldn't? Who would go, eh? No, nah, this fall cap is way better. Does he even know who I am now that I've put the helmet on? <laughs> Just dull staring. Not even rage left. Ah, la puta madre! <laughs> if I mean, Trino get it into the sea, as he said he did, the ebb would put it back here. This makes sense. Mr. Dross could have picked it up. Or the Phasmid even. If it did, this is incredible. Show him the RNE's passport. Which we didn't examine. Did we? Mm, no, no, we didn't. Nope. No reaction. His breathing is slow, and he appears very old all of a sudden. Around 80. Let's have a closer look at that after. I think I'll be more useful than him. He nods toward the old man. Show him the detached scope. I... I lost. You lost it, Mr. Gross. He turns his eyes to the reeds again, as he's done so many times. Beige and white stripes. He lost the scope. Then it somehow made its way over there. With the help of a magpie phasmid. The lieutenant observes the lens sparkle in your, in your hand. Hmm. This sight is a T9, Mr. Dross. Was it attached to the rifle when you made the shot? Silence. Not even a sigh. Hmm. You've gotten all you will out of this poor being. Gonna let you rest now, Mr. Cross. The plastic cape flaps around his face in a gust of wind. His back is slouched and his mouth open. The blacks of his eyes are receding. His pupils are returning to normal. The strength has all gone out of him. Just frail old bones in a sack of tracksuit trousers and a windbreaker. Hang tight. We should think about getting back to the mainland to get help. He'll be safe here if we don't take too long. Wow. Right, we had the <laughs> Triangong 446, bolt action of 4.46 caliber Triangong, poor man's sniper rifle. While not the most reliable of firearms, it is relatively precise due to a very manageable recoil thus allowing the shooter to take multiple consecutive shots fast. Fast. This particular piece is a missing is missing a scope though. It's missing a scope. That we found. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, T932 rifle scope. A common 30mm sniper scope. Attachable. Uh, to almost any bolt action 4.46 caliber. He uses an older style, non dotted uh, range finding reticle. Seaweed is still stuck to its lens, and it suffered water damage from its time in the Phasmid's dowry. The scope was missing for a long, for a while. The lens is caked over. Nasty. He took the shot without the scope. The fuck? Wait, how long was? Or he couldn't away? have. He couldn't have. Like it's. It's like when you. How was he using the scope to to do? To, how did he take that shot 
without there being a scope on the rifle. Could, could he have taken the shot and lost the scope within the last week? In the time when the Fazbit appeared? Possibly. It just, I, the description of the, yeah, I guess. I don't know how long it would take for the CV to, for a week to, to do this. And Classia's passport. This well-traveled passport with visas stamped in it is issued by the Republic of Oranje. We found it in the Fazbit's nest on the island. We can open it for more details. Yeah, I guess he could have lost it in the time frame. After, After the murder. The way that and before. It doesn't make any sense otherwise. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like... Uh, cra we're going into crazy Phasmid explanation territory. <laughs> the Phasmid did it. I don't even... Like, I, I'm not... I'm just, you know... Like, the scope came off for a reason. It's like, why, why did the scope come off? Why yeah. is that a part of this? Why is this detail even here? What's the significance of... of Separating the two. This passport, issued by the Sovereign Republic of Orani, is issued to a black-haired woman called Katazina Alazie. Yep, that's the name she gave documents from the MT boy. Hmm. Look, Look at the, the photo. photo. It's Klazia, with short black hair and glasses. She looks boyish, younger somehow. An old photo before life came and did what it does. What was this doing in the Phasmid's nest? Maybe our man, Mr. Dross, took it from Classius, or whatever her name was. Hiding place, or... Perhaps for some blackmailing plan? I think the Phasmid took it. The Phasmid took it, and I sensed it to... sensed it do so. I saw something open up the buoy with spindly legs. Point to your head. Did I? Like a magpie? What a coincidence. Then it would also have collected the other objects, which would be highly unusual. I can see how the helmet could wash up on the island, and the scope. Maybe Mr. Dross lost it, but to seek this out would be very unusual behavior for an arthropod. I thought that was going to be a magical one and done interaction that just happened for the sake of fuck. Oh, no, you're not done yet. But it's actually now being considered and worked into the sequence of events. And I am very... I'm a little shook. Because that's the kind of thing that you ha it happens, and then you look at it, and then everyone just goes, holy shit. <laughs> and then you kind of just turn back to the, the, the rest of the yeah. movie. You keep going. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I can't, like I can't think of an exact example in my head right now. But there's, there's times like this that happen, where like, and then it's whatever wild shit just occurs, just occurs, and then we just continue anyways. And it was the, the moment was one and done. But it actually is, like, important here and mattering in the in the full uh, timeline. Would it? Maybe it was simply curious. Yeah, perhaps it was curious, like an octopus. Perhaps it had a vendetta against Miss Oranje? An octopus belongs to a very different class. It's not even an insect, it's a mollusk. But yes, <laughs> I see your point. It says... Katarine Alassie. She said it would be for... Anouk Meyer Smith. Anouk Meyer Smith. Mm-hmm. Katarzyna Alassie was supposed to be a real name. Where Klazia comes from, remember? Mm -hmm. God damn it. Thank you, Logic. I told you she kept on lying to you. She's probably lying to someone else right now. Another detective. Is she? Felicia, have you checked in with Shivers? Hmm. Katalzine Alassie was supposed to be her real name. She lied to us. Maybe this is her real password, not a fake? Because this is her real name? No, she lied to us. Her so-called real name was not her real name. Somehow she's managed to lie to us about that too. He almost smiles. <laughs> but it's like, are we like, I don't know. Are you supposed to be five layers deep and still thinking she tells you the truth at this point in the game? Like, what's the version of events where she's still around anymore? Like, are we still taking her word for it after an incredibly dubious sequence of events. 
I, you know, I'm legit. I'm legit curious to know how it would go if we left her at the whirling. What's her real name then? I don't know, but it was not Katarzyna Alasio or Anouk Meyer Smith or Klasia. Whoever she is, when we get back, I need to warn our holding cells. We need to double the security around her. Like Kim is not compromised. No matter what, what I get, like, no matter what happens after that first encounter, when, when the volition moment happens, like, no matter what you decide, one thing's clear: this person cannot be trusted in fully or in its in its entirety. You need to be dubious and you need to look at her sideways. No matter what you conclude, even if you decide to leave her around, you have to look at her sideways. You have to keep an eye on her. Right? Alright. We got the passport. Ask Classy about Sunday night. <laughs> Use the boat to return to me. After all of that. <laughs> After everything. Yeah, so the brown coats are coming to pick you up. But just to, just to know, between you and I, what happened that night? What happened? The old man stares at the reeds. His face shows no emotion, only a faint. He stares into the, the plastic cape. Flap. The blacks of his eyes are risk. The strength is all. Yeah. It, it being around is what made him or is what gave him whatever demeanor he had up until this point back in wow. and was there a half implication where are we uh, the last doors are right there on yeah. the right side. Did it not just... It cut to, It cut straight to outside last time, right? Yeah, uh, you went there and then you clicked on... Well, did you click on something when you went there? Yeah, you clicked yeah, on... Yeah, we know what we out. did. Sorry, I just didn't remember. I thought we walked straight outside All from good. the door. We've had a lot of things happening yeah. since we passed these doors. Um, in the, in the explanation in the last uh, part of that discussion, they kind of implied that, like... He wasn't. He poss He wasn't in his right mind, and maybe his behavior might and, have been affected by the phasma. Yeah. So, like, maybe he's not a creep. <laughs> but Hard he was, to believe. He was phasmid brained when he cut the hole in the wall, <laughs> far away from the phasmid, all the way across in the whirling, while the phasmid was way back over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, he stares for the and soldier's feet ran up them long ago. That might have been what I saw the first time. Ah. The skiff is swaying on the waves by the dock. Let's return to the mainland. Let's. We are done here. He says, adjusting his glasses as he looks out over the water. Sad FM. The skiff rocks gently under your weight as you get in. The ride back is uneventful and quiet. No. But for the sound of conversation on the water, there is someone inland waiting for you. It's our fucking backup. Two men and a woman stand on the concrete square of a nameless village, looking at a small yellow boat as it draws closer. The sea is calm. You reach the jetty and climb out of the skiff. Nope. Look what the tide brought in. Says the man without sunglasses. Suddenly his, exp his expression changes and he tilts his head. Jean Vicmar, no wig, no sunglasses. <laughs> 